Today I'm going to talk about how very easy it is to connect the ThermoScientific RapidStack to the ThermoScientific MultiScan Go. The first thing we need to do is we need to open Polera RS, which is a control software for the RapidStack that communicates with the MultiScan Go. Where we need to go is the Start, Programs, ThermoScientific, and open up Polera RS. This is the welcome page to Polera RS. The first thing we need to do is add some instruments. You can have an instrument on the left or an instrument on the right, as the RapidStack can automate up to two instruments at one time. To add an instrument, we're going to go up to the ribbon control, tools, and options. Then our options page comes up. We're going to select the equipment tab, and we're going to set up our system. Here's a rapid stack. I'm going to just check on the settings. So we need to change the mode from simulation to normal mode as I'm actually connected to a rapid stack and a multi scan go. You have to give the instrument a name. So I'll give the rapid stack the name rapid stack. It's a standard rapid stack, not a 2x. And my rapid stack is on COM 14, which I know is correct. So we select OK. Now we can select an instrument. My Multiscan Go is on the right hand side of the Rapid Stack and it's set up for Instrument 2. So I'm going to select Use Instrument 2. I click on the arrow in the device pull down. And as you can see, I can select from a whole host of instruments. That's the nice thing about the Rapid Stack and Polera RS, as you can use a wide variety of instruments and swap out as you see fit. So right now we're going to select the Multiscan Go. So next we're going to need to fill out a couple items in this tab. So again, our mode is normal. Our name, I'm going to call it Multiscan Go. And next we need to connect to the automation software. And as you see, when I clicked on this box, you have some notations coming up telling you that you need to look for the file MIBAI server exe in the Scanit software. So all you need to do is follow this little path here, click on the little box with the three dots, and it should take you to the Scanit and you click on that software. And we're going to do that right now. You select there. We go to Program Files, Thermo, and here we have the Scanit for the Multiscan Go. We open that, and here we go. You can see this is the file we're looking for MIB AI Server EXE, and just click Open. Now, it also tells you if you cannot find that software there, we do include it with the driver, and I'll show you a little later in this video how to copy and paste those files into the Multiscan Go Scan It folder. But for now, we'll continue on. Next, we have to give the active instrument, which is the default instrument in Scan It. I know what my active instrument is, so I'm just going to type that in. If you don't know what your active instrument, a little later on in this video, I'll show you where to find that exact name in the Scanit software. But for now, we'll continue on. I don't have a password in Scanit, but in Scanit, my username is admin. So I'm all set here, and I select OK and OK. And as you can see, I've added an instrument to my setup. So now, so now we're ready to create an assay. Now that we've installed the instrument driver, as you can see on the right, scan it for the multi-scan go, we're going to start building our processes. So in the upper right hand side under tasks, you'll just select create a new assay. 
you'll see here on the left hand side is the operations. I'm going to drag and drop run session under the Multiscan Go into the process editor. Now the Multiscan Go and Scanit has a number of protocols saved in it. To just pull those protocols through I go to session and I click on it. Now it's just going to take a second for Polera RS to communicate with Scanit and pull through all those protocols. And you could see here we are, they've all come through. I'm going to select Demo 1. I'm going to give it a timeout of just 60 seconds. And next, all I have to do is select in the tasks, run this assay. You'll see here the start assay run screen come up. Your source plates are in the front. Your empty stack is in the back. I'm also going to select the restack button so that the plates move from the empty stack to the source stack at the end of a run. All I have to do now is select start run. What you're hearing in the background is the rapid stack homing and configuring as well as communicating with Scanit. What you'll see here in a minute on this assay run page is the entire process laid out in front of you plate by plate as it describes what it's doing. And as you can see now, the rapid stack is retrieving container one and it's going to move it to the multi-scan go. And the reader's performing its run as the rapid stack preps container number two. This will continue on for as many plates as are in the run. We can also toggle back and forth to the assay page and the equipment tab. Now let's see what this looks like on the actual instrument. Now you also have to make sure that you put in the proper name of the active instrument. And if you click on this box of the active instrument, you'll see in the notation, enter the reader name from Scanit Software in Settings, Instrument Setup. So we'll go and see what that is right now. We'll just minimize this, open up Scanit for the Multiscan Go. Wait momentarily while the scan it opens up. And if we go into settings, instrument setup, you'll see here that the Multiscan Go 1510-S0008C is the name. So if you just write that down and insert it into Polera RS, you're all set. Let's close this. and close that. We'll go back to Polera RS.